What is going on everybody? And we're back with another episode. Oh man, what a fucking lovely day here in Arizona. Man, it's like 88 degrees for my bike. Well, I think it's actually closer to 90, but it feels real good. You know, we've had just like consistent fucking warm weather, like the, anywhere from the 80s to the 100s. It's been real nice, can drive my bike to work and stuff. And, it's just been real fun. So I'm just gonna cruise around. There's an area that I wanna go check out that has like a bunch of nice houses. So just the neighborhood that I live in, it's got like a bunch of like rundown trailer homes, mobile homes or whatever you like to call it. And they're like, they're starting to put in like new homes in my neighborhood. Uh, it's taking a while obviously because they're like waiting for either like the old people to die off or people to like abandon the house or whatever whatever the case may be you know they're slowly putting in new and new houses in my neighborhood but there's this neighborhood that every time i drive past coming home it's always i mean i see it every day and i have not checked out an area it's like it's only like a maybe like a single road I haven't gone down that road. I really, I haven't really explored a whole bunch, but uh, I definitely will check it out. I mean, there's definitely some nice homes that I've seen on that road. So, and then I think there's like a little golf course around it. So, we're gonna check it out and see what it's like. So, I finally got around to. Uh, well, actually, it's been a while, but. I don't know how many miles it's been. I think actually maybe closer to five, maybe a little over 5,000 miles I put on my bike since I've done the oil change. So it was, I want to say it was last weekend. Last weekend I did the oil change. I swapped out the spark plugs, like I said in one of my other videos. I think the mate or the, the spark plug maintenance was, I thought it was like eight, but I guess my bike is at 95, so. I did a little bit later than I wanted to, but uh, actually, I think I think the maintenance book it says just to like inspect, inspect and whatever. But I just replaced them. It was not it was not that easy to replace these uh, spark plugs on this bike. I mean, you had to remove a lot of the bearings to get to it. I mean, I didn't have to lift the tank, but I kind of did a little bit. I don't I didn't really do anything. But once you remove the side bearings, you're able to stick your hand in there. Uh, and kind of get to them but the only downfall was that I didn't have an actual spark plug socket that you know, that actually grabs them so I had to use the regular socket and just to get them out like I didn't have a magnet or anything to be able to reach in there so I couldn't grab it with my fingers so I literally had to like take my socket pack it with grease stick it in there to be able to actually like grab a hold of it and stick it pull it out obviously putting them in wasn't that bad but uh, I did get uh, fork oil for my bike. And at one point I am gonna do those, the front fork mods to it and dampen the, or uh, put in thicker oil, possibly cut the little spacer in there. What in the fuck? I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but that guy's front wheel is definitely uh, got some negative camera going on there. Definitely does not look right. But there's a lot of like fucking run down piece of shit trucks and cars around here. You know, this place, this town is not, is getting there. Like they're, they're building, you know, buildings here and there. You know, they build like, uh, they build like, I don't know, like maybe five buildings a year. I could be wrong, but it's a small town. And so like they have one Starbucks, they have like one Dutch Brothers. It's not like Seattle where you have a fucking Starbucks on every corner. So I think this is the road that leads to the neighborhood I was talking about. This is the only like road that I know I, I've seen that leads right next to the highway, which the highway is right over there on the other side of those buildings. And I think there's like a fucking country, like I think that's the golf course entrance maybe. Guess we'll find out when I go over there. 
or do I go straight? You know, when we when we were looking at like housing and stuff, like you know, stuff down here, we weren't really finding anything with like apartments. But the longer we've been around here and driving around, I think this is the way. But the more I've been like riding around or even driving around, there are a lot more apartments and shit over here that I have noticed like online. Oh, I think this is the right way. Okay. So this is like the start of the of the housing area that I, that I saw. So this one's super nice right here. Oh, can I go over there? Oh, I don't think it's gonna let me go over there. Now these are super fucking nice homes. See, I have to get over that way. I don't know if it, if it loops around. That's an interesting house. So yeah, this is like a super nice area. I mean, at least it's super nice houses anyways. They say it was a dead end, but it was, definitely was not. Because it loops around this way. Yeah, see the houses are, I want to go check out are that way. So we'll just go this way. See, I wouldn't mind like living over here in the nicer area where there's no trailer parks and or mobile homes or whatever. And see, I like this. The area is way nice. Damn. I'll have to go check out that way. Oh, that's a nice fucking house. So I think, that I'm pretty sure this leads to the way because I have to go around the golf course, which I believe it is because I think the golf course is right behind here. Yep, yeah, there it is. There's a golf, little small golf course. I don't even know how many holes it is, but that's the highway right there that I come down. So this is the area that I was wanting to check out. Well, the super nice houses. These ones are nice, but down here, farther down, they get even bigger. Like, uh, I like it here so much. I like it in Arizona so much more than Washington. I'm sure these people know that I don't live over here because I'm sure they don't see bikes. See now, that is like a massive home. See, that's it. See what I said? They, they get fucking bigger as you go down. See, that's kind of cool, whatever that is. I see this house every fucking day, and I... Uh, and I think it's kind of an older style because of those little glass window tile things. But uh, here the golf course continues. And... Man. I would love to live over here. Look at that. Just having a big ass driveway. Like this one on the corner here. Damn, you have it all. See, I like this style where you got you know, a garage up there, a separate garage, big ass archway. And I think we can have, if I had something like that, I would put like a, a car lift up there. I want like the extra space on the side of the house. Cause that way if I can have like my super tall like RV size garage then at least I can put it the lift outside. So this is a new house being built. See, yeah, see I want to live over here. This is a dead end though. I don't know what this guy's doing. Fucking running super slow.
I wonder if they're gonna continue this road. See, I want like this, like a big ass RV size garage. Like something like that would be cool. A two car garage, an RV style, and an actual side side piece. So I could build here, build there. I mean, there's some land open right over here. Like that one's fucking nice. Living next to the little whatever. And so I'm assuming this is probably gonna be a new lot too. I haven't been down this road, so I don't even know if it continues. As far as I know, I think it's supposed to end like a dead end. And look at that, it does. I wouldn't mind going down there. But, you know, I don't want to get stuck on my bike. That would be kind of cool. I wonder what that thing is. Maybe when I get my dirt bike, I'll fucking go ride down some off-roading trails. Man, I love living in Arizona. See, all this could be a newer area. And the cool part is, too, it's, it's not expensive to live in Arizona. Like, housing here is 10 times cheaper than Seattle. So there's a, uh, a realtor, like, Instagram page that I've seen a few times. So they've been advertising these massive ass houses down in like southern Texas. Like four bedroom, three bathroom, like a 2200 square foot house for literally less than 400,000. Which is a, about the same price here, but obviously those houses are slightly bigger, but I'm just assuming that, you know, that's why a lot of people are moving to Texas because the housing is so much cheaper. Uh, I don't know if that's, I'm assuming that's probably like a hurricane territory or tornado area or something for it to be, for like, for it to be that cheap. So, I don't really know that area, and I don't know why they're so much cheap, but down here in Arizona, you know, I can build the same price house up here. I don't know if it was that big, but... Yeah, I like this fucking area. See, that's cool. Have a little gated entranceway. So I'm gonna go check out that other road that goes the other way. I'm assuming you can't buy this part right here because it's like it's party, probably part of the golf course. And obviously you wouldn't want to be having a house right next to the golf course because what if you get constant broken windows because of all the golfers. I like that house too. See, I don't like those colors though. Like I'm more of like a black, white, gray, Hmm. I'm gonna go check out this way. Yeah, that's the house I wanted to look at. Oh, I gotta share the road with the golf carts. See, that's a cool looking house. I don't know if I would, if I would want that house particularly, but it's an interesting looking house. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's a big, nice house up there. I like that entrance. That's kind of cool. Having a little like, uh, like rooftop area where you can go on some top of the garage. That's kind of cool. See, so, yeah, that one has it too. You got little solar panels up there or something. That's an interesting house. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having like a little uh, like rooftop area like above the garage where you can kind of hang out and like, you know, just hang out on top of the garage. Oh, that's kind of cool. I definitely would have made the other side a fucking tall garage. Tomorrow, I'm fucked for 
day. I'm gonna pray to God, but I'm gonna busy getting laid. See, I would live there. I don't like the brown though. See, it goes down here in Arizona because of the heat. Uh, they kind of always paint the houses in like the same boring colors. You don't really, you don't really, see, you don't see black. You don't see blue. I mean, you really see white. It's mostly like browns, tans, maybe grays like that one. You don't see like bright colors, obviously, because I think the reasoning is that the color fades, obviously, with the sun. Maybe I don't know. The greenway. Yeah, that's part of the golf course. <laughs> 